In this video, I'm going to show you how we can use implicit differentiation for finding equation of tangent line to an implicit relation. Show that the sum of x-intercepts and y-intercepts of the tangent lines to the curve a square root of x plus a square root of y equals a square root of a at any point to the curve is equal to a so we want to prove that for any tangent line to this curve the sum of x intercept and y intercepts is equal to a so first we have to find the equation of tangent line for equation of tangent line we need the slope of the tangent line and for finding a slope of the tangent line, we have to find y prime or dy over dx. And because the given relation is an implicit relation, we use implicit differentiation for finding the slope of the tangent line. But before we start, let me remind you the derivative of a square root of x. For finding the derivative of a square root of x, usually we write it in the form of x to the one half and then its derivative is 1 half x to the power of 1 half minus 1 which is negative 1 half but if you notice you can write this as 1 half times by 1 over the square root of x because x to the negative 1 half is 1 over the square root of x x to the 1 half is a square root of x x to the negative 1 half is the reciprocal of a square root of x which is 1 over the square root of x and finally you can write this simply as 1 over 2 square root of x I highly recommend you to memorize this for the derivative of a square root of x the derivative of a square root of x is 1 over 2 square root of x and the reason that I recommend you to memorize the derivative of a square root of x in this form is that First of all, we will see a square root of x or a square root in general a lot in derivatives. And the reason that this form is better than this form is that the function is in the radical form and it's better to write the answer in also in the radical form. So derivative of radical x is 1 over 2 radical x. Now that we know what is the derivative of radical x or the square root of x, let us start differentiating the implicit relation. Let me rewrite it here. The derivative of radical x is 1 over 2 radical x. We have this relation between x and y a square root of x plus a square root of y is a square root of a the derivative of radical x is 1 over 2 radical x the derivative of radical y is 1 over 2 radical y but because y is a function of x don't forget to multiply it by y prime as you know in implicit differentiation when we take the derivative of a term involving y we have to multiply it by y prime and the derivative of the right side maybe you make this mistake and write it as 1 over 2 radical a attention this is a constant a is a number x and y are the variables so what is the derivative of radical x then the derivative of radical x is ra derivative sorry derivative of radical a is 0 derivative of any constant is zero now we have to find y prime from this relation if we move one over two radical x to the other side of the equation then we have one over two radical y y prime equals one over two radical x negative one over two radical x and from this equation y prime equals negative 2 radical y over 2 radical x if you cancel a 2 from numerator with a 2 from denominator we can write it this as 
y prime equals negative radical y over radical x if you wonder how from this we got this we multiplied both sides of this relation by 2 radical y to get rid of this denominator from here if you multiply the left side by 2 radical y this cancel and if you multiply this by 2 radical y we get this so y prime or dy over dx which is the slope of the tangent line or a slope of the curve is negative radical y over radical x now maybe here you wonder what is the point of tangency we haven't given in this question any point the reason is that we want to find equation of tangent line to this curve at any point so we don't have any point we can choose a random point on this curve so we choose a general point on the given curve we suppose we suppose the tangency point to be x0 and y0 a general point any point the coordinate of any point can be written in this form so we choose a general point on the given curve and don't forget this point belongs to that curve so a relation between x0 and y0 we have and that relation is that s square root of x0 plus s square root of y0 equals s square root of a because this is not just a random point this is a point on the given curve what was the equation of the curve s square root of x plus s square root of y equals s square root of a so any point on this curve satisfies this equation so this point should also satisfy that equation so x0 and y0 satisfy that equation which means that we have this relation between x0 and y0 so we suppose the tangency point to be a with coordinates x sub 0 and y sub 0 and attention x sub 0 and y sub 0 satisfy this equation because later we need this equation now that we have the tangency point and we have the slope we can write the equation of tangent line the equation of tangent line let me re re remind you the equation of tangent line in general y minus y0 equals m times x minus x sub 0 is equation of a line in general here for x0 and y0 exactly we have x sub 0 and y sub 0 but what should we replace for m m is the slope of the tangent line and we got this for the slope of the tangent line but we want the slope of the tangent line at this particular point so we have to substitute y with y sub 0 and x with x sub 0 so then we have this equation for equation of tangent line y minus y sub 0 equals negative square root of y sub 0 over a square root of x sub 0 times x minus x 0 so this is the equation of tangent line at a random point on the curve now we want to prove that the sum of the x intercepts and y intercepts of this line is always a let us start with finding y intercept for finding y intercept we set x equal to 0 if we set x equal 0 for finding y intercept 
then we have y minus y sub 0 equals negative square root of y 0 over square root of x 0 times 0 minus x sub 0 and so we have y minus y sub 0 equal if we multiply this negative x sub 0 by numerator the negative and negative cancel each other then we have a square root of y sub 0 times x 0 over a square root of x sub 0 now let me explain you how we can simplify this in numerator we have x sub 0 to the 1 and in denominator we have x sub 0 to the 1 half if we subtract the power from the power this equals x sub 0 to the power of 1 minus 1 half which is 1 half and x sub 0 to the 1 half means actually a square root of x sub 0 so by simplifying this with this we have y minus y sub 0 equals square root of y sub 0 times square root of x sub 0 this this divide by this equals this now if we move negative y sub 0 to the right we have y intercept so finally y intercept equals y 0 plus s square root of x 0 y 0 we can make these two separate radical we can write them as one single radical like this now let's find the x intercept for finding x intercept we have to set y equal 0 in this relation if we set y equal 0 then we can find the x intercept so we have negative y0 equals negative square root of y0 over square root of x0 times x minus x0 from this equation we have to find the value of x if we multiply both for finding x let's get rid of this coefficient this fraction here and to get rid of this let's multiply both sides of this relation by the reciprocal of this if we multiply left side and right side by the reciprocal of this in the left side we have y0 times a square root of x sub 0 over a square root of y sub 0 and in the right we have x minus x sub 0 and from this if we move x sub 0 to the left then we have x equals x0 plus y0 a square root of x0 over a square root of y0 if you simplify y0 over a square root of y0 then we have this x sub 0 plus a square root of x0 and this is a square root of y0 the reason that this equals to this is that attention the power of y sub 0 here is 1 the power of this is 1 half if you subtract 1 from 1 half then we have y sub 0 to the 1 half in the numerator which is actually this so the x intercept is x sub 0 plus s square root of x sub 0 y sub 0 now that we have the x intercept and the y intercepts this is the y intercept and this is the x intercept 
we want to show that the sum of these two is always a so the sum of x intercept and y intercept is x0 plus s square root of x sub 0 y sub 0 and the y intercept is y sub 0 plus s square root of x sub 0 y sub this is the y intercept if we simplify this, we can write this as x sub 0 plus y sub 0 plus 2 square root of x sub 0 y sub 0. We can write this as a complete square form like this. If you raise this bracket to the power of 2, simply you can check that it equals to this. But if you remember, x sub 0 and y sub 0 satisfy this equation that I mentioned here. s square root of x sub 0 plus s square root of y sub 0 equals s square root of a. So the bracket is s square root of a. If you raise it to the 2, this equals a. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please subscribe in my channel and see you in the next videos.